Hey, welcome back to Buddhism 101. Today we continue on with our study of morality uh, and the aspect of morality known as reflection on the use of requisites. So uh, no matter how simple a life we live, uh, as human beings there are certain things that we require in order to continue our lives, in, or, in order to meet with success, even on the level of the practice of meditation. So in the context of the Buddha's teaching, uh, there, are, there are these certain set of things that we have to use, and so try to use them uh, wisely and reflecting before partaking in, in their use. The four main requisites in Buddhism are uh, food, uh, robes, or food, clothing, uh, shelter, and medicines. And these are considered to be four things that in general human beings need to survive and so even Buddhists, even people undertaking uh, intensive meditation practice still have to partake of. The point is here that um, with these things or with other things, other objects, possessions that we use in our lives, there's a potential for going outside of the, the boundaries of what is uh, conducive to meditation practice and becoming distracted or intoxicated by the use of material possessions. So, of course, using um, our possessions are for, for pleasure, for indulgence, for distraction and diversion for things that uh, will take us away from the meditation practice and away from our goal. So in general, the, the, this, this fits in with the, the practice of morality in the sense of restricting our activities and preventing us from becoming distracted and um, intoxicated by the, the, the world around us. So um, building on these four, so th as examples, we, we use uh, food simply to stay alive, as I've talked about before. We won't, be, we won't use food for the, purpose of, um, for the purpose of entertainment or for the purpose of intoxication from the strength that comes from it or from fattening our bodies and from building up bulk uh, or for beautifying the body, for, for creating a, a good complexion or so on. So we won't be concerned with these things. We'll use food simply to continue our lives, simply to allow us to continue with on our spiritual path. And so we'll try to use just the amount of food necessary for that and not go beyond that, not fall prey to our desires and our attachments, our addictions to, to food. Um, clothing, we'll only use clothing to cover the body, both from to, to ward off heat and cold and um, insects and, 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 and pests of all sorts. Uh, and and also to cover the body to keep away to keep us to keep us from being naked and and from the distraction that that causes and the problems that it causes from exposing ourselves. Um, we, we won't use it for beautification. We won't use use clothing for um, sensual pleasure for indulging in the soft and comfortable touch. So we'll try to use just the just this sort of clothes that are necessary to keep us alive. As, as monks, we, we try to perfect this by just wearing a simple cloth. It's a rectangular cloth, and we have three rectangular cloths that we wear. That's considered to be just enough to keep us um, reasonably comfortable without becoming luxurious or, or without engaging in uh, some kind of uh, beautification through clothing or, or style or, or enjoyment of color and, and, and uh, beauty and so on. Uh, and the, th the shelter, we'll, we only use it for the purpose of, um, protect, again, protecting ourselves from the elements, from heat and cold and from insects and pests and so on, but also for privacy. So we'll use it for the purpose, uh, not privacy, but solitude. Um, we'll use it for the purpose of uh, segregating ourselves from all of the things that would normally distract us. So when you have your own room, a place to, to um, stay or off in the forest, if you have a place that is secluded, it can be a great support for your meditation, especially in the early stages when your mind is still easily distracted by 
the, the objects of the sense and people and, and activities going on in the world around. Now what it's not used for is for um, indulgence in uh, things that you'd only want to do in private, so um, uh, any kind of entertainment or, or uh, um, indulgence in, in sleeping and, and uh, um, relaxation. So our, our houses, our rooms, our accommodation should be simple and, and, and actually quite bare. We should try our best to not um, use comfortable bedding or you know, high and luxurious bedding. Uh, or to uh, to use our so we should be careful because in solitude there also comes uh, a tendency towards engaging in activities that you wouldn't want other people to uh, to know about so and try to use it for simply for what it's what it's meant to be used for and try to be careful not to fall prey to uh, to the um, the comfort and the luxury of, of a beautiful, of a, a luxurious dwelling. And, and medicines as well, the fourth requisite, we'll only use for uh, overcoming sickness and only to the extent necessary to overcome sickness and to allow us a mind that is uh, unclouded and, and free from the um, effects of, of sickness and disease and a body that is able to, to perform the meditation practice and able to um, function on a daily basis. So um, we wouldn't use medicines to um, cover up unpleasant experiences, for example, pain, using painkillers or um, drugs that uh, are, are simply for the purpose of um, creating states of comfort and avoiding unpleasant experiences or um, using medicines like uh, supplements that are meant simply to strengthen us and to give us a false sense of health and, and uh, comfort and in order to avoid the, um, the inevitability of sickness and, and, and pain and, and so on. So again, trying to use all of these things just for what is necessary. And using these as examples, you can really apply this to anything. So if you have a car, you should be using the car only for what is necessary. If you have a house, the house should only be uh, for what is necessary. If you have a computer, the computer should only be used as necessary. Re this this um, wise reflection at the use of our requisites, we should take a look around ourselves and uh, try to eliminate those things, that those possessions, those material possessions that are distracting us, that are taking us away from the path, away from the practice. Um, because it's and just another outlet that takes us outside of what would be considered moral. But again, moral in the sense of supportive for the meditation practice, leading, for, leading towards concentration and focus. So anything that takes us outside of that we consider to be immoral. It's just a subjective definition, but in a Buddhist context this is what we mean by sila or morality. So there we go, another aspect of morality and uh, just one more concept that we need to know uh, as Buddhists, as Buddhist meditators, as followers of the Buddhist teaching. So thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.